Hey everybody, thank you so much for taking time to tune in to watch this brief presentation and educational webinar from Michaela Goins from insurancemarketingonline.com. Isn't that right? Yes. Insurancemarketingonline.com. They are great partners of CWC. They're actually coming to our event that's in Vegas coming up in about four weeks. Can y'all believe it? It's four weeks away from CWC Vegas. As an FYI, we still have a little room, not a lot. We still have a little room. So if you or your agency is interested in coming to the live event in Vegas, it's four weeks uh, from, from this week, reach out to me and we can get you guys in. It's going to be a phenomenal event. But we are very thankful to have partners like Michaela and their team at Insurance Marketing Online because, y'all, we're teaching you and your staff how to sell more policies, how to sell coverages way more than price, how to overcome objections, how to bundle auto, home, umbrella policies, how to generate life. But when it comes to leads and marketing, that's not what we do. We don't sell internet leads or live transfers or direct mail services. So it's nice to have great partners like Michaela and their team to be a resource for you. Now, this webinar is not just a pitch to buy their program. You're going to learn some things about why direct mail is important. And we're also going to take your questions. I know that people were chatting before we started, like where they were from. And guys, it looks like we've got people from literally almost every state in the country. It's pretty cool on this call. But let's stop chatting. Go down at the bottom of your, of your Zoom control panel thingy. There's a Q&A button with like two little circles. If you have questions throughout the webinar, throughout the presentation, go ahead and type those in as they come through. Michaela and I will work to get to as many questions as possible once she's done. This call is being recorded and I'll have it on the platform um, in the owner's webinar section, the 2021 owner's webinar section, probably by tonight. It just depends on how long it takes to encode. So if you need to jump off or something, you can watch the recording, or if you need to watch the recording in the future, you can. It'll be in the owners and managers webinars for 2021. And Michaela, it's going to be there forever, All right? It's going to be there forever. So members in the future, hello from the past. Today is August 17th, 2021. And I'm super thankful to finally introduce the woman of the hour, All right? Michaela Goins from insurancemarketingonline.com. Michaela, take it away. All right, thank you, Joseph. Um, well, I guess I'll jump right in here. Um, hopefully you guys can all see my screen. Mm -hmm. So we are INS Marketing, like you said, and we specialize in handwritten direct mail uh, where the envelopes are actually handwritten by people. We are located in Berryville, Arkansas. So a really small, small town in Northwest Arkansas. And I posted some pictures so you can kind of see where your mailers are coming from. So our home base is here in historical downtown Berryville uh, in this little building over here on the right where that used to be the mercantile of the town. And we're one of the top employers of Berryville. So we have a wait list of people who want to be handwriters. We employ a little over 100 people right now for behind the scenes of your mailers. And like I said, we do handwritten envelopes and that is the name of our game. So I'll jump right into our base program. This is the bread and butter, so to speak, of what we do. So it's our home renewal program. And you can see over here, I have a sample uh, with Mr. Bean on it. Uh, he's, our, he's our mascot, but uh, that's what we send inside our mailers and the envelopes are hand addressed. There is no return address on there. And then of course you do have your star stamp, your bulk mail stamp on the right. So, our inside, our teaser quotes are lead specific. We do have a matrix that we have created and we will provide the lead data for you. So all of our um, quotes are, like I said, lead specific based off of the matrix and what settings you want. So how high or how low you want those quotes to be. And then each letter is mailed based off of its individual X date. So this is a big thing that makes us different for most direct mail campaigns because we're going to mail these out in weekly mailings. And it, like I said, depends on each individual mailer. So we are 30 days in advance. For October send out, you're sending to November homes. November send outs to December homes and so forth. And then of course, we'll take into consideration any sort of USPS delay time that your state is seeing. So right now, typical states are about a two week delay time frame. So we're gonna mail it out so that way it takes two weeks for it to land the same week as the renewal letter. 
This means that your calls are going to be spread out each month. It also means that some weeks you could have 5,000 mailers go out and the next week you could have one mailer go out because it just depends on that individual X date. And then of course our pricing is based off of volume. Uh, it also de depends on a lot of different factors and I can work with you individually on that. So something I wanted to jump into is what we call our partnership program. And this is a way for you to offset your, your individual costs as an agent. So let's say you have anybody in your lead network, it could be a real estate agent, a mortgage lender, a car dealer. Those are my top three uh, that most agents do. I even have one agent doing his gym. Really anybody that can benefit from direct mail. We will put an advertisement in your mailer for that person and it will go behind your mailer. So you're still the head honcho of your, of your mailer. This will be about the size of an iPhone screen, like a little card, and it's about, it's magazine material. And you can have unlimited number of partners in your mailer. Now they're paying for their own advertisement. So you're not endorsing them and you're getting an extra cost off per piece for however many partners you have. So essentially, hypothetically speaking, you could pay for your mailers altogether. So it's kind of a way for you to own your little piece of INS marketing. We do have other programs available. So we have condos, autos, postcards. One thing I do wanna hit on is we do have a greeting card subscription. So if you want that personal touch, you want first class greeting cards, thank yous, birthdays, get well soon, especially during COVID, we will do that for you. We will handwrite it, it will put your return address on there and we will handwrite whatever message you want on the inside. And we'll send those to your clients. We also do welcome packet subscriptions. So every morning, if you wanna upload who you sold the day before, we'll send out a handwritten welcome packet with any merchandise you want in there for you. Winbacks is a big one. And then of course we do new movers, which is anyone that's moved to your area will introduce you as their neighborhood agent. So it's just a great way to get your name out there and have that personal touch. And then of course, there's my contact information. So write this down. Uh, you can get a hold of me anytime. Uh, like Joseph said, we will be at the, um, at the seminar this, this coming September. I won't be. I will let you guys know that I will be having a baby. So I will not be there. But you'll get to meet my family. You'll get to meet my dad will be there. Like I said, we are family owned. So you'll get to meet members of my family and just get to chat and see who we are and what you'll be, who you'll be working with if you do INS marketing. Well, you did keep that nice, short, and tight. I like it. And everybody, you can take a screenshot here. Uh, Michaela, your email address is also in the email invitations that I sent out. And I, I know that some agents have already started reaching out to you. Yes. Let's go back to that first slide, like where you were showing an example of a mailer. And we're going to get to y'all's questions here in a minute. But this is hand addressed. Y'all don't use a printer. You nope. literally pay somebody to do the hand addressing. Did you talk about who does the addressing? Uh, no. So every citizen of Berryville, Arkansas, probably uh, a good portion of my extended family from teachers from when I was in high school. Uh, we have a wait list up at our church. So a lot of members of my church and their job is to hand address these envelopes. Uh, we have I showed you a picture of where our base home is on the square and they can come in and drop off and pick up their mailers. So it's a great way for them to earn a little bit on the side, but it also brings our community together. I love that. And I love the fact that it's hand addressed. Y'all, let's talk about mail for a minute. I literally check my mailbox, like my physical mailbox, maybe twice a week. My postal lady probably hates me because it starts to get kind of full. What is most of the stuff that we get in the mail? Most of it is like coupons, junk stuff. There's a couple insurance carriers in my town that are always mailing me stuff. Like they need to scrub me. They know I, I, I've got my coverage uh, with Craig Wiggins, right? They should know that. Um, other just marketing stuff, right? I'm getting tons of solicitations from realtors right now. Do you want to sell your house? Y'all, this is the best time ever to own a home. Right? Home values are skyrocketing because of inventory being low with home um, construction materials going through the roof, like lumber and other things and labor. Nothing really important comes in the mail. That's why I check it like twice a week. And I fill up our recycling bin. It's all basically recycling stuff. However, if I get something that's hand addressed, right, hand stamped, I'm opening that. 
All right, I'm going to open that. The open rate is probably through the roof, Michaela. I don't, I don't know if you know any statistics, but I imagine your opening rate is way higher than if it was like a printed label or something like that. They open it up and then they see their proposal. Now, in terms of the, you know, pricing, the pricing, not of the mailer, but like the rates. Michaela, what do you typically recommend for somebody to, because listen, there's some marketing vendors out there who will say, say, yeah, let's send like a $300 quote out. But the lowest the quote would ever be, if that was a perfect customer, would be like 900 or 600 or something like that. What's kind of that sweet spot that you see your agents pick? Because you said it, you, there's like a range, you have a matrix. Yes. What do you recommend as people are doing their own direct mail? So obviously this is going to depend on so many factors. Where are you located? Who, what's your market? Who's your market? What are the demographics of your area? Is it really saturated with direct mail in your area? And these are things that I will work with you specifically on. So like Joseph said, uh, our mailers are handwritten. It's gonna be opened. It's no longer a question of whether or not it's going to be in front of a seeing eye, right? It's a question of if I can entice them enough to call you and that's my job. So I will work solely with you one-on-one one to make sure that those numbers are where they need to be. Obviously, the lower the number in most cases, the more calls you're going to get, but the more objections you'll get with that as well. So what is that sweet spot? Typically, I say about 60% of the probable premium. Um, you want it to be a $300 difference from what they're probably going to be. No one's going to call you for a $50 difference, so to speak. So what is that sweet spot? And then what, of course, your people can, are seasoned enough to handle? Because like Joseph said, the lower the number, you know, more objections there's going to be. And of course, we do have a call guide that I'll send to you. Uh, so you can send that to your people to kind of help them overcome any objections these mailers may bring. Well, I think that's a wonderful program. And getting back to the other customized things that you can do, Flip over to that next slide for me so we can chat about it. And I'm going to get to these questions. So everybody, if you have questions, don't use the chat. Use the Q&A. So down at the bottom, use the Q&A. But the other program options, like the welcome packet, literally, Michaela, Craig, and Allison and I, uh, an hour ago, were talking about things that we would want to send to new CWC members, as an example. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe some collateral, you know, maybe some information on our other programs, maybe some scripts, because everybody, I'm about to show you something that hardly anybody has seen, the new and improved CWC scripts. And I actually have a script on how to work direct mail that I'm going to pull up here in just a second. But is that something that you could do? Like you can customize like a, a welcome packet that can go out to new customers for the agency? Absolutely. And we can also provide any kind of merchandise. So we're a full print house. We can do your business cards. We can do business card magnets, pens. You want to throw a t-shirt in there, I'll throw a t-shirt in there. So anything that you want in your, in your welcome packet, we can do. So I need to talk with you later about that for CWC because Sounds we want to start me. doing, we want to send something to new people when they sign up, but also like the greeting cards, like, you know, the mm -hmm. thank you cards, the get well soon cards. I think that's really, really cool. But how do people give you that information? Like, this is me asking you, like, how frequently am I submitting lists for you to work? Or like, if someone's sick, do I literally just upload that somewhere? Like, what's the delivery of that? So normally we'll do like a Google Excel. Uh, and then that way, both parties can go in and edit it. And you can see, hey, we sent this card out at this date. Most of our greeting card subscription people will do a once a month upload. So anybody that maybe they'll, instead of doing a welcome packet, they want to do a thank you. They gotcha. can do it that way. Um, uh, condolences. And then anybody that has a birthday at that time, we can, or in that month, we can do that. And they can tell us what date they want that to be sent by and when they want that to land. So we can do anywhere from daily uploads if you wanted uh, to most of the time people do monthly. So on a high level, y'all, direct mail is an investment. It's definitely investment. Now, reach out to Michaela. Let her know that you're a member of CWC. And I'm pretty confident that they're going to take great care of you. Um, some other agents that use your program at a high level have been for a long time. I know personally. And I think that's one reason why they're so successful. Handwritten mail gets open. But just on a high level, just to talk a little bit further about direct mail before we get to everybody's questions, it's an investment and it's a volume play, right? You can't just mail out 50 pieces and expect to write three customers. 
I don't know what, if Michaela, if you guys track your call call rates or, or contact rates, but a good response rate on a direct mail will be around a half a percent or so. Like that would be like a really, really good response rate. So think about that. If I mail out a hundred pieces, that's probably zero. If I mail out 250, maybe 300, I might get a call. Now, again, Michaela's program might be different. I'm talking about just direct mail in general from other vendors that I've worked with. It's a volume play. But what I love about direct mail, before I show you guys our script that I've put together, um, and I'm going to give you a preview of all the other scripts that are coming to the platform, um, hopefully by the end of this week. Guys, it's driving the phone to ring. And what I love about direct mail is they're calling you versus working a win back or requote across. So like you're outbound calling, you're doing things like that, live transfers. Those people didn't decide today to call your agency to talk with you about their insurance. That's why I love direct mail. Yes, the cost per call is going to be higher than a live transfer, which you have complete control over. I buy 100 live transfers at $50 a piece. I spent $5,000. I'm expecting to speak with 100 people. You spend $5,000 on direct mail, maybe you speak with 30, 40, I'm just throwing out numbers. Do you think, gosh, Joseph, that's a lot. That's a lot more cost per call. But they took the time to call you, to talk with you about their insurance. That is powerful. That is really, really powerful. But understand, this is a volume play, right? And it's, and it's an investment, but the quality customers are much higher. Now, before I go into our scripts, let me rewind a minute. You said that you guys provide the data can I tell you, Michaela, I only want to target home values of like X amount up to Y amount only yes. in these certain zip codes or counties. Like, can you just be a little bit more granular about how you guys can target who I'm reaching out to? Yes. So we are data brokers. We have an operations team that will pull your list for you. And it, we can put any filter you want on there from age of home to home value. Like you said, Joseph, uh, we could do age of client. We can do ethnicity. We can, if you wanted to send out Spanish mailers as well, we can do that and we can filter out ethnicity for Spanish speaking clients. So we have a lot of different ways to filter out your data. We do have base filters. So if you don't want to go through all that. You just want to hit as many targets as you can. I'm not going to hit to a home that's less than $50,000 per se. I'm not going to hit to somebody who's 17. So I'm going to do probable homeowners and have base filters. But if you want to adjust anything like that, you definitely can. And I want to touch base on uh, the response rate. Like you said, direct mail, you want a half a percent response rate. Uh, typically, we see about a two to 4%. Now, oh it does take you know, consideration of month, what month it is, you know, Christmas, are you going to get that 4%? Probably not. But you increase your mailers in December, you're going to get that 4% in January. So there are a lot of different strategies that go on with each month of the year, what holidays going on, but I will help you. I'll walk you through each, every step of the way and make sure that, like I said, I'm not going to be happy to you at least get a 2%. Well, we're about to go over all of your questions. And Michaela, we've got a lot of them, but don't stress. Okay. Can you flip real quick back to your contact info? Everybody, yep. take a picture of this. Take a screenshot of this. It was in the email where you guys got the invitation to this. But feel free to reach out to Michaela to see what she and they can do for you. But I want to show you guys a couple things. So I'm going to take control. And then when I end my sharing, Michaela, it'll just be our faces as we're doing the Q&A, unless people want to see more examples. But somebody sent a chat. Now, remember, don't chat questions, submit, submit Q&A. This is their website, insurancemarketingonline.com. Uh, but Jim, Jim asked, what does a winback mailer look like? Now, I don't, I don't know how up to date all their stuff is, but this is their website, insurancemarketingonline.com. You can see examples of home mailers. Now this picture here, is that the picture of the agency? Um, is that the picture of the agent? Can we put anything? Depends on what they want. Also depends on what kind of strategy we're going for. So some people will put their Listen. team on there. Some people will put their family photo on there. Uh, typically it is the agent photo, but I'll put whatever you want on there. You know okay. what, Mr. Bean, I can do that. Cool. And just some other examples, new movers. Is this something that you guys automatically do for me? If I say I want every new mover in Madison County, Alabama, if you have it available, y'all, they're already working with a lot of agents. So keep in mind, this is subject to availability. Um, but is this something that's automatically triggered or do I have to pull this data or list? How does the new mover work? We will pull the data for you. You tell us what areas you want and for what month. Typically, new movers are going to be a smaller number. 
Uh, mm -hmm. just depends on how many people moved into that area. So you're looking at a couple hundred, but it's a great way to introduce yourself to the new people in your community. So these are very colorful brochures on auto. These aren't like mock quotes. These are just like savings. But does this stuff work? Yes. Y'all turn on the TV. Listen to the radio. Every other ad is an insurance company talking about up to $356 a year or whatever. I don't know where they pull those numbers from, but it works. It works. It drives people to call. And then this was Jim's question. Can I see an example of Wimbacks? So this is a cute little, cute little note here. Um, and are, can they help customize this verbiage and stuff? Let's yeah. say I read this letter and I don't love the verbiage. How customized could I make it? We can make something completely different for you. Okay. So we have a design team and I can work with you on that, uh, of what exactly you're looking for. But like I said, every agency is different. So every marketing strategy is going to be different and I'll help you figure out what's your secret sauce, so to speak. Well, y'all, this is pretty rare. A lot of vendors that I know really don't like to change their templates up a lot because that adds to the labor and cost and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool that they're willing to customize. But I love these thank you notes, these birthday things, postcards. Are postcards cheaper, lower cost to send, I imagine? They are lower cost, but like you said, with direct mail, if it's a postcard, what's the probability it's going to throw be thrown away versus them opening? Yeah. Yeah, my advice to y'all would be stick with the hand addressed letters, right? The hand addressed letters. Now, I've been teasing it for a few minutes. Let me finally show this to y'all. We can chat about it briefly and then we can go into the Q&A. But check this out. We have put together, look at all these scripts that we've made. All these scripts. I still have to do the texting opt-in one. I'm still working on this. I've been working on this for the past couple of weeks with Allison and Craig's help. All of these scripts on how to work these various lead types, how to overcome these various objections, how to ask for referrals, all built out. But on page 12, I have our direct mail. So like voicemail scripts, right? All the different ways, how to overcome the most common objections. Page 12, I've got the direct mail. So you guys are the first to see this. We should be having it on the platform. We will have it on the platform soon. But check out this one page on how to work direct mail. So Michaela calls into my agency and Michaela says, I got your insurance quote. Now, sometimes y'all, they're going to say, hey, I got this policy. I want to buy it. Y'all, we literally had a customer one time mail us the letter that we sent to them with a check. They thought it was a real quote. Now, some people are special, right? But this was a special person. It was a policy. We, we ended up calling her and doing it. But has it ever happened to any of y'all? Like, I thought it was the funniest thing. And then I've heard this happen to others. So some, Michaela calls me and she says, I want this insurance quote. This looks good. You guys look great. Michaela, thank you. Thank you so much for calling us. I am very, very happy to help you today. I'm so glad that you received the estimate that we sent to you. That's the key word, y'all. I'm so glad that, that you received the estimate that we sent you. Michaela, you are the exact type of customer we're looking for. And I'm really excited to talk with you about what we can do for you today. Now, I'll make sure that I give you the best plan possible and every discount possible Let's take a look at what your exact details are so I can prepare your accurate quote for that beautiful home, that beautiful home that you're in. Michaela, what's your address? Don't give it live. There are people watching, Michaela. They're going to send you stuff in the mail. I'm just kidding. But I'm addressing the fact it's an estimate. It's an estimate, y'all, right? Will you have some customers say, but I thought this was going to be an accurate quote. I want to buy this policy. Michaela, I'm, I understand that you're excited to work with our agency. And guess what? I am too. I'm really excited to be able to help you. What you received was an estimate. It's an example of what we can do for you. The great news is it only takes a few minutes to get your real information, your full information, so I can prepare your accurate quote right now. I cannot wait, Michaela. I cannot wait to show you what I can do for you today. This will be great. This will be great. So you said you're at 123 Main Street. How many square feet is your home? 1,000. No. Oh, wait, look, she was about to answer. Yeah. See, go into the assumptive quote. Don't keep apologizing. Don't do whatever. Go into the assumptive quote and just keep going. What if they say I don't have a lot of time right now? You know what? Me neither. I don't have a lot of time, Michaela. I got great news. This only takes five, 10 minutes. So we can take a look at what we can do for you today. Just real quick, let me gather a few pieces of information. How, how many square feet was that home? 
So you see, I kind of give some of the most common objections, but what I like about my intro or our introductory script is I'm stating up front, this isn't a quote, <laughs> this is an estimate. Many people will know that, but some people are afraid of direct mail, Michaela, because they think it's like a bait and switch type thing or whatever, and we're about to go to questions. Y'all, it's the nature of the beast. It is what it is. We want to lead with a, a nice quote that will encourage them to call in. Am I saying send out a quote of $350 a year if you know that it's going to be $1,400? No. But Michaela's estimate was like 60 to 70%, like probably like in Target. If you want to be a bit more conservative than that and go to 80% or so, fine. But y'all, direct mail works. It is a volume play and it is an investment. And I would encourage y'all to reach out to Michaela and see what she can do for y'all. Speaking of questions, we got lots. So a couple people asked about logos. You know, they're like, mm -hmm. are they an approved vendor? Can I use my Allstate logo? The answer to that is no. You guys cannot put, if, if you're with Allstate, you cannot put your Allstate logo on things that aren't through Allstate's mailing system. Now, if you're with other carriers and you're able to use your logo a bit more liberally, great. But if you're with Allstate, you just use your own logo, your own name, your own picture, and it's fine. You can do your own outside marketing um, without having to do that. Um, so let's see here. I went over some samples. Oh, I had a question from Scott here. Can Michaela provide state-specific quote and close rates for the direct mail programs? I doubt you could do close rates, but like the quote rates, you said it can vary two to 4% column rates. Oh, another tip for y'all. Another tip for y'all. Please put a different phone number on the letters. Don't just put your main agency number. Get your telephone provider to give you a certain number that you're going to just give to Michaela or whatever vendor you're using. That way you can track it. You can track how many calls are coming in. That's super duper important. But I think we kind of went over his question because you talked about calling rates. Close rates, y'all. I know some agencies using Michaela's program that have been using them for years. And they're buying up like every county that they can. In fact, Michaela, someone was wanting to work with y'all in the mm -hmm. zip codes that y'all had available in his area. were like, I just don't know. I said, I'm going to try her out, try her out anyways. But there's somebody that's been working with y'all since their very first customer. I'm not going to say her name, but your yeah. little very first customer is doing a big part of a certain state. Yeah. She must have a good return on investment, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. We went over some examples. Is there any study done on call rates on regular envelopes versus hand addressed? Have there been any studies done on that? I don't know. Um, but Michaela, you, you guys are seeing that your agents are getting a very high response rate compared to if it was just printed on there. Absolutely. Uh, especially if it's just printed like the robotic handwritten. People are smart these days. They can tell the difference. Uh, I know, I mean, well, granted, I have a trained eye now, but I know I would tell that I could tell the difference between that. You know, we, when we hire somebody to handwrite, we do have a trial period for them. We want it to be legible. But we don't want it to be perfect. We want it to look like your Nana wrote you a letter and that you're going to open it. So yes, I, though I don't know any specific studies for that question, I can personally guarantee you that your open rate is going to be higher than if it wasn't handwritten and again just think about how you check your mail right what mail are you opening it's going to be something that hand dressed now troy asked the question is it a real stamp or is it metered postage real stamp uh well it's uh not first class it's bulk mail if that's what you're asking but, it's a but it stamp. is like an actual stamp on there yes and then the mail company has some voodoo way of figuring out it's like bulk and, yeah. and they're charging a little bit less or whatever, even though it's a real stamp, there's a way for them to tell that it's bulk. Yeah. Can a current customer, Zane wants to know, can a current resident be omitted or current customer? It I'm not sure he's asking. So you do not have to have or current resident on your envelope. Gotcha. But here's the thing. If it doesn't have or current resident and it's some weird thing where the grandkid is living in the grandparent's house, it will be returned. And so is that a gamble you want? It, we're going to do our very best to edit the data to make sure that we're getting the probable homeowner. Don't get me wrong. We're going to exclude rental properties and things like that. But there's always going to be some weird situation out there where, you know, somebody's living in that house with, of their family member or something like that. And their name is not on that address. Then it will not be, it will not land if it does not say our current resident on there. I do have some agents that omit it. And I do have most of my agents that have it on there. Okay, gotcha. And I understand now. So I, I'm glad you clarified. 
What if an agent uses a company like Quote Burst or Robo Agent, Jason says, where they can generate a mock quote for a specific address? Is there a way to mail merge that? Or do you prefer just the matrix where it's like a home value and this is roughly the target that you want to hit for this home value range? What are your thoughts on that? Preferably doing it the matrix way makes it a little bit more specific. However, uh, if you wanted to provide your own data and you wanted to do it that route, that is something we can talk about. Okay. Um, we have some questions on pricing. I don't want to put you in a hole though, or paint you in a corner mm -hmm. because it will vary based on volume, based on availability, based on lots of things. But is yeah. there like a ballpark idea? Is it like a dollar twenty-five a piece, a dollar fifty a piece? Two like what's so, a ballpark? Ballpark is you could be anywhere from eighty-five cents to sixty-seven cents. Okay, but you have the partnership program. So you have a partner in there, it can offset that cost. You have five partners in there, it's going to really offset that cost. Um, do you only sell exclusively to one agent per zip code or could like a farmer's agent and an Allstate agent be battling it out? No, why would Good. I do that? That would water down the effect of my program. So I definitely want you to be the only agent in that area. Uh, Andrea asked, how do you get the leads? Like, where is your data coming from? Uh, so we're data brokers. So we have an operations team that will pull data mostly from county records. Uh, I did get a notification though from Rusty, who's watching this. He's my dad and CEO of the company. Hey, Rusty. Yeah. So he did say that if you guys wanted to do a quote burst, we could do that. Okay. Um, Scott asked, is there a way to target older homes that might have potentially newer roofs or is there like an age of roof filter on your data sources? Sadly, no, that's not something that I'm able to find. Uh, in fact, that's something that we've been working on trying to see how we could filter that out. Well, look how smart I am thinking you just talked about the partnership program. Uh -huh. What if you guys connected with local roofing company mm -hmm. companies that's talk where about, I was going to go into, you know, yeah. Who to target, right? And maybe you can like include them on some of your other mailers if they help share some data with you. Now, you got to be careful about privacy data, but if you're friends with a local roofer and you guys go in on some marketing together, I don't see why not. Just mm -hmm. throwing that out there. I would definitely want to be connected because the newer the roof, the better, right? The, the better the rate. Yeah. Do Linda asks, what about life insurance? Or is that something that you might be able to create a, a one-off? Yes, actually, I do have uh, one agent that I do life insurance for. Uh, it's a completely separate gig, completely different mailer. And I would just work with you to see what you want. Is there a meeting that you want to have these people to invite these people to? Uh, do you want it to be a greeting card? Do you want it to be, you know, there's definitely an option there for you. Now, now scrubbing, Troy brought up a very important point. Let's talk about compliance for a minute. So we talked about only using your own logo, not your carrier's logo, unless you're with a carrier that's more liberal about it. But mm -hmm. scrubbing is really, really important. So before you do your letters, do you have the agency have the list so where they can scrub that list against their compliance database to remove current customers and remove people that are on their do not mail list? Yep. And it will be formatted to your DNS when, you, when we send you that list. You'll scrub it as the agent. You scrub it through your own DNS and then you send that back to us. So it will be scrub data. Um, on the letters, do you do a picture of their home or no? It's like the logo no. or picture of the family. So there's some other vendors out there that do that. I don't know how accurate that is. Like I would be afraid about sending someone to the wrong house about whose house is this? <laughs> um, so I showed samples. I'm trying to get through all these questions here. Uh, let's see here. I might have literally just missed this, but can individual agents request a service or does it have to be through your agency? So this actually might be a team member. Um, a team member might be wanting to invest in herself. Her name is Kristen. Um, Kristen, if you're a team member, if you're a team member on this call learning to maybe take some notes back to your owner, I'll probably recommend you all talk with your owner. Direct mail is an investment, right? If it's 89 cents or, or whatever, 85 cents, whatever it is the, per volume, you mail out a thousand of those, 850 bucks, you're hoping to get 10, 12 calls. Like if it's another vendor, she might have a little bit higher response rate. So if you're a team member wanting to invest in yourself, self, I love that. 
but there's probably different ways to do that. Like, like, like tomorrow, tomorrow, our live training is at 3 p.m. Eastern. Our live training is on building referral partnerships. Um, so I would encourage you, Kristen, be on that live training that we're doing tomorrow because we're going to teach you how to build referral partners for basically for free, like how you can do all kinds of things for free. But I love that. Uh, let's see here. Can we have an additional phone number, even though we have Allstate Agency Voice? So if you're with Allstate, you can get additional marketing lead lines uh, with through your AAV. You certainly can. Let me scroll down here. What kind of budget is realistic for, say, a $5 million agency? Well, let me just rephrase that. What's like a bare minimum, Michaela, that you mm -hmm. might recommend anybody have to do? in send per month for it to make sense? So you're looking at three to 5,000 volume and that's going to feed an agency of two LSPs. Three, um, three's kind of pushing it. There are situations where I'll do less than 3,000. Typically that's when there were not zip codes available. So for that example, you said earlier where that gentleman did reach out to me and all of his zip codes were taken that he wanted, uh, but like four. Well, that's gonna pull maybe 800. Uh, 800 volume after scrub, give or take. And so I'll do that. I'll do that for you guys because it's not your fault. Uh, but be prepared that out of 800, you're looking at not 10, 15 calls, uh, just kind of depending. But uh, those 10 or 15 people own a home. Yes. They're likely married, likely have multiple cars. Y'all, those are the best prospects and they're calling you. They set aside 15, 20, 30 minutes to call you to talk about your insurance. That's cool. So yes, it's going to be a higher cost per call versus a life transfer or internet leads. But think about it. Let's say I bought, for me to have 15 conversations, I'd probably have to buy 100 internet leads. What am I going to spend on 100 internet leads? Probably less than what I'd spend on the mailers for that same cost. Does that make sense? So what is the recommended number of drop mailers per drop? So I uh, had another question there. I guess it just kind of depends on what's available. I assume you get, you set like a max. I want to spend no more than this. Fill me up. Is that the way it works? Uh, typically it'll go off of zip codes and what those will bring. Uh, uh -huh. But if an agent came to me and said, I have a budget of $2,500, what can you do for me? I'll work with that. Okay. Gotcha. Can I use my own content and you just do the handwritten envelope? Can they hire you to just handwrite envelopes? Somebody wanted to know. Yes. But wouldn't, uh, they, but that, wouldn't it make sense for you to also print whatever they want to send out to? Yes. So that's something yeah. I would need to talk about. The, what's the specific situation? Reach out to me. What I'm loving about you guys is it sounds like you're willing to work with people. You're willing to Absolutely. be customizable. A lot of other vendors aren't. They're like, here's our four templates. Here's what we're sending. You know, no, so you this is, I'm not here things. to just sell you mailers. I'm here to build a partnership and a network myself. And so I'll take care of you. Don't worry. Um, does your data, Joy asked a really good question. Does your list potentially include some phone numbers for follow-up or is it just addresses and home values and stuff? So we have two options. We have our base data that's going to come in your base pricing. And typically that pulls probably about 10% phone numbers is usually yeah. the range. Uh, it doesn't include mobile, but it is enough to load up to your lead, your lead manager and do some follow-ups on. We do have an upgraded uh, data package and I'll, I can talk with you specifically on that. It's gonna depend on volume and things like that. Uh, but we usually see about a 30 to 40% emails on those lists okay. and about 16 to 17% phone numbers, but those do include mobile. Okay, gotcha. Um, Cole asked, do we get a discount for being part of CWC? So Cole, I would just tell you, reach out to Michaela and they will hook you up, drop our name. You know, they're wanting to work with the best agencies and that's the people in our program. You guys and gals, you agency owners, you're investing in your team's development. But if you're investing in leads, marketing, things like that, we gotta make sure that your staff are doing it the right way, that we're not just selling on price. We're using price to get them in the door, but we must pivot to making it all about coverages. Okay. So I just, I just, I had to mention that because that's kind of our whole thing here. But yeah, y'all, they're great partners of ours. Super excited. He just said he sent you an email. Okay. So okay. Cole's trying to get in, in, in front of everybody's line. I like that. If we have Sales Genie or Cole, can we give you a list or do you prefer to use your own list? Somebody asked. 
Um, like if they have their own, because like Sales Genie and Cole are people that a lot of agents use yeah. to, for data. If they're trying to work a certain list, can they send that to you to you to potentially market to? Yes. Yep. We can we can use their own lists. Um, and I will backtrack a little bit. I will do a, a three cent discount if you guys sign up today. Oh, today? What do they got to do? Email you or what? Email yeah, well, like, just email me and say I want in and I'll put you on the list for that three cent discount. Nice. That's a nice percentage for sure, based on that cost. Um, I don't have my own logo. Does that matter? Amy, share a picture. Use your picture of yourself. They're big on family pictures, agency. Y'all, here's a tip for y'all. Y'all seen Craig Wiggins. You've seen him. I'm not saying he's homely or nothing, but he's no Beth Lambrecht or other team members. Y'all, he ain't on this call, so don't tell him I'm making fun of him. On our direct mail, it's a picture of our agents. It's Beth, Josephine, Michelle, like it's a group photo of our girls. We also do some direct mail for our team members individually. This is another great tip for y'all, for those of you that stuck on this whole call. Some of our top producers, we do mailers just for them. And for them to qualify for, for that, they have to hit a certain level of production. To keep their mailers, they have to keep that certain level of production. So Beth has a piece going out with her picture on it her phone number, et cetera. Josephine has a letter going out with her picture, et cetera. But for our general ones, it's a picture of our team, not just of Craig. So that was a joke. Nobody tell Craig I was making fun of him in front of hundreds of people. Okay, a couple more questions here. Joseph, when we have the new scripts on the platform, hopefully by the end of this week, Linda, I've been working really hard on them for the past two weeks. It's about 28 pages and like 17,000 words. Um, so I'm really excited to, to share the scripts with y'all. Scott said, very cool, family-owned business. That's awesome. Um, let's see here. Just a couple more quick questions. Anonymous said, I've had people say they want what we sent them in the mail. Let's make it more personal. That was an estimate. Okay, so that's good. So he was helping me, he or she was helping me overcome uh, the objection. Yes, I'm glad you received the estimate. Let's make it more personal to your specific needs. I love that. Is it possible to buy the mailer information and leads so that we can print them from our own offices? I doubt that, right? So Katie's asking like just getting the lead list. I do, I can, I can you sell you that? just lead data. Yeah, I do okay. have a couple agents who just want the data themselves. And then so they do their own thing? Whatever, they do their own thing with it. Yeah, I'll sell you data any day. But will it be exclusive to them? Yes, zip code. Okay. Well, Katie, I was wrong. Email Michaela. I'm learning everything right now about your company. Last question from Jason. Some mailers I'm using have a QR code that will direct them to a fillable form. We get a lot of people that are willing to fill out the form. Can you do something like that? So if they make a QR code, you print it on there to like, if they, they scan the code, it takes yep. them to like a quote form. You can yes. print that? Yep. Cool. Yeah, that's actually smart. You can create, a, if you're, well, I almost said just Allstate. Y'all, we work with all different carriers, but like, for example, if you have Allstate, you can create an Allstate lead manager or web form where people can fill out some basic info, dumps in your lead manager. Many of you guys are, that might be using Ricochet or um, follow-up tool, other lead management vendors, probably have something similar to create a form. That's a really neat idea, Jason, to create a QR code that goes to your web form that ties into your lead management system. Has mm -hmm. anybody done that that you're aware of, Michael? Yeah. I okay. have about four or five agents who have QR codes on their flyers. That's cool. That's a really good idea, Jason. Can you believe it? We did this in under 45 minutes. We literally got to every question, and this was kind of the targeted timeline that I had in my head. So I want to thank you, Michaela, for sharing this awesome information. I want to thank all the attendees for paying attention and learning and growing. And, and everybody, I want to thank you all for being a part of CWC, Craig Wiggins Coaching. I'm excited to share what everything that's going to be coming up at our event in Vegas. Look forward to seeing you guys there. And Michaela, I'm going to miss you. Another person chatted that they're also due in October. So they're due uh, for the same Yes, well. we'll have babies at the same time. That's <laughs> right. Well, my babies were born in September. My twins were born in September. Um, they're born September 9th, 9-9, the easiest birthday ever. So if you can pick a day, pick that one. It's easy. All right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Michaela. Thank you and Insurance Marketing Online for being great partners and for giving us your time today. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me. And again, you have my contact information. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. 
Perfect. Thank you so much. And thank you all. Now let's get back to work. We got policies to write and people to protect. <laughs> Y'all have a great rest of the day. You Bye -bye. too. Thank you.